You feel closer than everyone else. I know it. I also feel closer. Oh, do you also feel closer? Okay. I'm a little stone, though. Oh, so all right. This is a lie. All right, never mind. Let's go. Let's... Do you feel like everyone knows now? I am, I'm so dyslexic. How dyslexic? No, don't, uh, never do that again. No. I was just trying to connect with you and then the drugs kicked in. All right. But I'm gonna do some drug material. Remember when you were bragging about drug use? Um, how are you, sir? You look fit as, you look fit. You look great. Okay. Are you with your girlfriend? Almost. Almost. Oh, is this like a first date? Oh, okay. Cool. Well, let me take control. Uh, I hear a very intimidating accent. Where are you from? From Moscow. Moscow. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, we've all watched the news. Relax. Yes, if he wasn't so muscular, I would bring it up. But you know what I mean? I mean well, thank you for coming to the show. I'm gonna move on, because it seems really kind of a void of any comedy over there. Um, Woo-hoo-wee. She's really, it's an assassin in the front. All right. That's beautiful. This is, it's a budding romance. Maybe I'll talk to the, the woman. Are, are you also from Moscow? No. Oh, okay. Where are you from? I'm Persian, from Iran. Persian from Iran, okay. <clears throat> Fun couple, all right. could really cause some shit globally, honestly. That's, good lord, fuck. Anyone who's not in the news. Um, fucking Jesus Christ, I feel like Wolf Blitzer. I'm gonna move on, but it's great that you guys are together. We can contain all that. All right. Well, this is my point, and may I say, it's beautiful, the budding, Romance or the whatever the alliance, whatever. Um, ooh, boy. How are you? Is that your boyfriend? First date. First date. Okay. Yeah, that's more remarkable than any of my material. Um, where did you guys meet? And let's try not to bring in any type of global conflict. What? Um, hey, you two. Jesus Christ. Where did you meet, sir? Uh, high school. High school. Oh, we, we, he might be a teacher. What the fuck are you? <laughs> I said nothing from the news. <laughs> so you met in high school all those years, right? You're not in high school anymore. No, you, not after the scandal. What, and then <laughs> he was a psychotherapist, both things separately. And, uh, <laughs> who just help people with their problems all day, you know? And she'd come home and kind of do the opposite. And I'm not saying if you're a chef, you should be expected to come home and prepare like a nine course meal, but this was a situation no, where the no, no, chef. Wait. Wait, what? What, no, what? expect anything from a private job. Oh, okay, could I expect them to respect my performance? Uh, <laughs> Are you, are you a private chef? I am. Oh, okay, cool. Well, would have been easier for me to read your LinkedIn after the show than uh, in the middle of a joke. But no, you should have listened to the whole thing. I was saying that you shouldn't expect, this is the analogy, I'm gonna do, I'm an analogy, and then I expect you to whip up some appies for the crowd. All right, so. My point is, this. 
Right now I'm making a little recipe that calls for a little bit of rhetorical <laughs> responses. I'm just gonna take the fork. We'll talk at the end of the show. Oh, okay. Good Lord. This is why you do drugs and not drink. This is really a... Thank you for coming. Quick stop before rehab. I, uh... Sir, thank you. It was nice to meet both of you. Okay. Um, <laughs>